Welcome back to the Barely News Crew, everyone. I'm your host here, as always, Alexis, and today I'm joined by very special guests. I'm here joined by Nereida Valdez, Antonio Quirarte, Kyle Lira, and Giselle Gallegos. Some of you may recognize them. You're looking at the five founding members of what you call the Barely News Crew, and we have a very special date for you today. We're going to discuss how this thing even started. Do you guys even know how it started? Well, we'll discuss it. It's a why kind of thing. Oh, we're also joined by Mr. Han Solo here, if you can probably see him. He's a little bit, um, a bit occupied. He's giving us the cold shoulder. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. I know. So we are here to talk about the purpose of the Berlin News Crew, how it even started, and why five of us even got together and made this thing. Let's now go to Mr. Kyle Lira, who will tell us how this even happened, and let's go back to 2012. Kyle. Well... Okay, it, it is a it is a quite lengthy uh, thing. I'll cut it down to Reader's Digest version. Okay, uh, it, it all started. I was in I was in the I was in the Philippines. Okay, and I the only connection I had to America was listening to the Howard Stern show. And so when I heard the you know just the conversational pieces he did, it was just so intriguing. And so I listened to. Anthony Opie, I listen to podcasts like This Week in Geek and all that stuff and just I wanted to do something like that with a group of people that I was very fond of, you know, and uh, and so I went and said, fuck it, let's do it, yeah. you know. And you, I remember very correctly, it was in Mr. C's classroom, you approached me and you say, um, hey, you interested in doing this kind of thing? And you know, we did it on a weekend and uh, you had the very good sense to invite Miss Lauren Bermudez, which oh, a lot of us are okay. acquainted with. Okay, okay. <laughs> funny story with that. I, I, I thought, you know, I wanted a, a female mediator, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I, uh, no offense to you two, I, I didn't know you guys that well at the time. You know, so um, when I when I came with the uh, with the uh, knowledge of that, I thought Lauren would be a good uh, thing. So, oh, by the way, on Red Spotlight, it's gonna be released soon. the The first ever edition. It's of a the joint DC. thing. Yes, I don't even know. He he has the copies. <laughs> and <laughs> <can> um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, I that that show was just an utter disaster. It was like a, it was like the Phantom Menace times ten. <laughs> well, wow. as the one who got, who was the recipient of being slapped by Lauren, oh, because yes. you, you uh, Mr. are Slapper yes, right yes, here. Yeah. yeah, it was, uh, it was very funny because, because uh, I slipped them in so, some, uh, oh, some uh, substances to calm the nerves down. It didn't work out that day. <laughs> no, it did not work out that day. We, uh, 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 we were in the process of a thing called senior year. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, throughout, Central. <laughs> throughout, uh, throughout senior year a lot of stuff happened you know and we, we ca got caught up in our lives and then uh, during the month of May I decided mm -hmm. to, to kick this thing up a gear because at that point we had been very close with obviously all of you yeah, and, so, and you know what I remember I said to you Kyle we have people who have very similar interests and are very articulate yeah, and you know I found out and then I knew that you you have your you know audio thing going on so I thought you know hey why not let Tony go along you know let's have the fantastic Nettie come along and let's have you know net uh, no, Giselle Giselle, come swell on, Giselle. Swell Giselle hashtag swell Giselle you guys remember let me, uh, I want to just uh, rave a little bit on this uh, we all had names that I made they're not very good but very quickly swell Giselle Captain Jack for the win Tony Q and Nettie Corn I'm Alexis the Great so how are we all doing Good. Good. We're good. Great. Right. Hot. We're <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's and we. If you guys haven't seen this, but now we have improved. I mean, we went from like an office oh, kind no. of thing, and then yeah. we, Kyle, we, we we're not <laughs> even there yet. Because I mean, when we first started, if you recall, we did this in in your father's house in this oh, in yeah. his loft. Well, the acoustics were all over the place, and it was a podcast. We recorded it off my MacBook with GarageBand, first of all. And um, was that like a two-hour long session? Okay, the three of us had two and a half hours. Two and a half, hours. Two and a half so... hours, just talking about movies. Yes. And I honestly, if I'm being honest, was one of the best conversations in my life. I don't know yes. if it's sad or good, but it was one of the best <laughs> of my life. It's more leaning on the sad. Yeah, <laughs> the I guess so. Um, but um, we had a lot of things that weekend. Uh, your your uh, father's dog took a shit in our yes, studio. Okay, um, that, 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 I, I don't. You, I, you were there. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a very superstitious person, and just seeing that a dog took a shit <laughs> in the process of us making the thing, I was like, this this is not gonna. This whole idea is not gonna go well. So it yeah. is literally going to shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
And you know, we spent that entire summer just like going about getting this thing started, what we're going to talk about, what people we were get. I remember we even enlisted some other people that which we'll mention later. Um, and it took us all the way until I believe early September to get our first show, I guess, recorded and then uploaded and it. That was an actual true podcast in this very studio. How do you guys remember that day being, if at all? I know you were through was, Skype or something yes. or my yeah, phone. That's right. That's right. I, that was, I think, a couple of days before I was about to leave. Yes, it was. Would, would that make this her first official? Uh, be, uh, yeah. I official guess it is. Second, 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 yes. Second or third. Because that was, oh. was the time with Tony and then yeah. another time with Tony. And then this time. I, I guess that got lost somewhere. Yeah. You know, things happen all the time. Right, we, we, we record so much stuff, guys. Nice. So, yeah, it's just so much. It's just so hard much. to keep track of, and yeah. eventually they just um, get deleted. Thank you, Giselle. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. No, executive decision. <laughs> Where is that Halloween special? Uh, <laughs> I still have it, actually, somewhere. Ooh. Really? Somewhere. Like, well, not all of it, but... Some of it. I have, um... Didn't, who performed? Josh. I have that extremely long performance. Yes, it's what? on, YouTube, that we on our channel. <laughs> it's our channel. Right that now. never happens. <laughs> I mean, at this point, here? isn't Josh's love our theme song? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> I guess not. No. But I can say that that summer after we graduated, mm-hmm. definitely the best, one of the best summers that I've ever no, had. I mean, don't know if that's sad or hap- what side that leans towards, <laughs> but I, I would say I it's agree. a very good thing because, and I, I, I will say this very frankly. I mean, you guys are the best friends I've ever had, and to work on something like this is, is just beautiful. And well, thank um, you. I'm it, I mean, it definitely life. was. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I guess by now you're wondering how the hell do we come from a podcast into a video kind of thing. Well, if I remember correctly, Kyle and I were discussing, well, maybe yeah, in about a year or so, we'll do videos, but then... Right when we, right when we get our shit together. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, but, um... It's still I'm, not together, by the way. Yeah, the shit's uh, it's, it's on the floor in your, in your dad's room. It was so. a... <laughs> it's a good pile. It's in a good pile now. <laughs> but if you look back at then, there were circumstances that day, which we all are aware of, um, that forced us to, we didn't have any audio, anything available to us, but we had my camera. My um, very uh, frustrating camera. Thank you. So many dead rabbits. Oh my God. You, no you have, memory. Yep. No idea. <laughs> and so that day we, uh, we had uh, all of us, wait, all four of us were here, you weren't here. Uh, we had Danielle Torres and David Smurden. And um, we had your friend Jay, right? Yes. It was Jay who he did a performance. Set, uh, exactly, yes. he also performed, yes. and he recorded that show in a very unique uh, way. If you've if you've seen Birdman or The Office, you know how that style Steve, is. Was Stephen Grimmett there as well? I remember. Mm, uh, was he? There was a false contact. It sounded like a bass drop. I don't think it was. No, that happening. was the podcast. Oh, that was the podcast. Yes, yes, okay. yes. yes. And the actual show is when we had the chips. Yeah, yeah. And Greg the was chips. there too. Yeah, yes. we had Greg, Danielle, and if and you want to hear those podcasts, that is on SoundCloud. And still, of course, the videos are somewhere. for a limited time. Those embarrassing videos are available on our channel. I've made them public for the time being. <laughs> um, but you do know that it's not going to stay that way for not ever, okay? <laughs> Um, but you know, get it quick before it goes into the Disney vault. <laughs> <laughs> Barely vault. <laughs> Sometimes when you, I look at them, you know they're very laughable. But I, I don't, I don't get mad at the fact that they happen because you know we, we were having a fun time, not only on the camera but behind and around it, and we had such a great summer because of the Berlin News. And it was, it was very much of a learning experience because we wouldn't have like you know any the of this. knowledge that we have today. If we haven't had done it the way that mm-hmm. we did, you know. And you know, it's also very interesting how this even came about. So right now, I want to ask all of you, if you can please answer individually. I'll start with Tony. Yes, sir. Why did you join the Barely News crew? Well, when you first approached me, I remember it was YouTube. Um, I was, was that in drama as well? Yeah, I would say yeah. so. And like, I, I was the tech guy. And at the time, I was recording, I was recording a, a mixtape that out of like, really pretty much scrappy... Scrappy materials, and I, I I was starting to get a gist as to audio recording, and I really wanted to make, make a make some be part of some kind of project that would help me put that into practice. So the reason why I started working, and of course we we would always have great conversations in drama class about our love for film and and uh, TV, and also like I mean uh, the nerdgasms we get yes. with comic books and like all this. <laughs> it, it, it was it was it was fun time. Thank you, Mr. C. Um, <laughs> shout out to Mr. Yeah, Dissi Contreras of BUHS, yes. our drama club, and, and journalism teacher. I mean, you guys always thought you guys were great people, and I, 
the, the chemistry you guys showed in that classroom and like the 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 the, the, the jibber jabber that you guys would throw back at each other was so entertaining. Oh my god! That, That's a batter. Like I felt it was yeah. almost a sin for me to not be able to do my part and try and document that so that people could see. We were quite the characters yes, in that class. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. definitely. I mean that couch. And, uh, oh, I miss <laughs> that couch. And, <laughs> And honestly, that's that's why I joined. And I mean, sure enough, I met some great friends along the oh, way, yeah. and we we just formed these really, really, really close bonds. That you no, know, like things have been yes, it, like things have been thrown at us, but we're still we're still here today to give you guys document that same jibber jabber. Like it's it's no different. Well, you know, thank you for that. I think yeah, I, I speak for confidence. Yeah, I, mean, I, I speak. I think for all of us here, I mean, we're very yeah. touched. And I wanted to get the chips, honestly. You well, yeah. Offered chips, I was like, I'm hungry. No <laughs> joke. That's why he's here today. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, I think there's actually pictures of the first podcast. Yes. I have a really big uh-huh. bag of chips. Yes. And I, I, I finished those. <laughs> no, it was, it was incredible. But yeah, it was just, I mean, I, I, I don't regret it. I, I would do it again. A million times. Absolutely. You guys know that. Mm. Likewise here. Nettie? I don't even want to speak after that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Nettie. You should have made, made me go last. Wait till, you, <laughs> wait till you hear mine. Go ahead. Okay, okay. So, why did I join? Well, first of all, because you're my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And- Actually, it, was, it sounded really interesting. Like, I've always been interested in those kinds of things, but I never, like, had, like, the push, I guess, to kind of do it. But I've always wanted to do something like this. And I know it wasn't really around enough because I'm in San Diego. Yes. But if I was here, I would love to, like, do this with you guys all the time. Like, I've always wanted to do it. And, and, it, and it kind of, like, it's kind of like his thing where, you know, he can put his interest into it, into it too. And since I, like, film a lot, like... Like you know how I helped you at one time with white balancing, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> like because it, like has cameras and all that, and I like you know filming, yeah, <laughs> like work. filming, yeah. Work. So it would help me in you know in the process, and I like to document things, and yeah. So. Yeah, I remember uh, one of your most notable appearances here is when you talked about Miley Cyrus's house being broken into. The Doctor Who 15th Anniversary Special and No Shave November, which uh, Kyle took it to a whole year long dedication. Oh, <laughs> um, or not anymore, but yeah, that was. It's long. It's long. The beard has long since gone. <laughs> it's gone. Just out. All right, well, I don't even remember when you guys approached yeah. me. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but I do remember how much fun we had in journalism, and I was like, these guys are awesome. I wanna. I would love to, you know, hang out with them more. And because I did know you guys, but I didn't, really didn't know you guys that well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess I did, but to an extent. To an extent. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? I wanna. They seem really fun, and I just wanna. It sounded awesome, and I just, you know, what? I I'm not the type to do that kind of this kind of stuff. So I was very shocked at myself when mm-hmm. I said you yes. You pushed yourself out. I there. did because I I wasn't like that. You know, I just I was. The one behind the notepad, you know, writing. Yeah. I wasn't the one to want to get on film or anything. But like Tony said, I don't regret that at all, that decision. Because mm-hmm. like I said, that summer was the best summer that I've yeah. ever had. And no regrets, right? No regrets. Just love. Just love. Thank you, Katie Perry. Uh, I, had, I had to do it, you know. When I when I hang around Kyle so much, it just kind of rubs off, and I have it. As for myself, why I joined something like this? Well, I think uh, you can tell by now. I've always been, you know, attracted to things like this. You know, be on TV, that kind of stuff. And I, I, I consider myself a very articulate person. Well, I'd say so. And I have interests um, that you know Make are way Stephen Colbert. Yes, <laughs> I have a very wide range of interests. But in truth, I joined the Belly News Crew because I wanted to be with each and every one of you for as long as possible. Because time goes by like that. And if this was the only option I had to hang out with all of you at the same time, well, you're kidding, of course. My senior year was made up of being with you moments, and I will never forget those. And at first, I didn't consider this to be anything more than just a hangout thing, but I want to right now thank you, because I did not at any point think I would take this in a serious point, more than just what the five of us made. But it really grew a new passion inside myself with movies, music, and television, all kind of stuff. And now I'm obsessed with them more than I ever have been, and I appreciate so many things. And I think all of us really grew closer if it had not been for you. Yes. You're the one that did this, and uh, thank you, Kyle, because I really think you, you're you the creator. You deserve most, if not all, the credit for making all of this possible. And now we're here today, 
And it is, I think at this point, it's a little bit sentimental, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it matters that we're here and that we had that summer. And one more thing to finish off, one would have to wonder what that summer would have been without the Barely News crew. Because that was really what kept us grounded and kept us together. Yeah. It's just wow. Definitely. So at this point, um, now, but of course, it wasn't all smiles and such. Yeah. Of course, um, if as you can tell, we're five very different people, and we have a mixture of beliefs and opinions and uh, personalities. So the next question I need to ask everyone, and anyone can chime in. You can go first or whichever one. So, how is it like dealing? or let's see, all of us individually, how was it like dealing with five very different personalities, especially when it came to deciding real decisions for the direction of this oh show? Who wants to go wow. first? <laughs> it's not gonna Damn. be pretty. Honestly, we weren't even around for the <laughs> worst part yeah. of it. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess, should I start for the You should probably the go, Tony. Uh, shit got really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> shit got really heavy. Okay, after I left you guys and we came back from what looked like Florida after a hurricane, honestly. Okay, let's start. Um, let's start at the beginning where it was a podcast. It was scheduling was always a big issue. Um, we all had, I mean, like I, like we, like Giselle said, we were all in high school. We were all we just were, out of high school. Yeah, we were just out of high school. Our priorities were scattered all across the board, and we weren't really sure what to do with our time. Um, we of course we knew we wanted to spend time together. That was always there, but it was it was such a given that we we wanted to make time for other things. And um, um, I still remember like you, how 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 much how much shit you went through just oh. to get us in the same room at the same time. And I, I even know, now even, even now, now. Yes, I don't know how many times you call me a day. And <laughs> well, they all they all know guys. They all know. The guys, times. just for the record. <laughs> Just for the record, this right here is a miracle in itself. Yes. <laughs> yes. Us all yes. together. We all, I mean, she just got off from San Diego. Yes. He just got off from, I Nashville. from Nashville. I mean, Nashville. I mean, it was it's 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 still surreal, honestly, the fact that I'm in that I'm in here with you guys in this very same room. Like, well, if I can just very quickly but, say, it's not an easy job. Oh, I, but, <laughs> and I always give you props for that. You you just des- because you deserve them. You honestly, the, the scheduling, all the all the behind the scenes, yeah. were always like it was. You you had to stay. On but the I'll, tell like this, that. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this one thing. You had to chase though. us down. I'll tell you this one thing. It sure was worth it. Oh yeah, this is worth I mean, it. And like. And yeah. for you guys to come back to a barely California. Why? Oh my gosh. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving at the end of the month. I'm not coming back for another three. And she's you know, coming with me. So. That's one of the things we need to touch upon. Yeah. Uh, as far as our very different personalities. Okay. How did the name Barely News Crew even get I, put I together? Remember, that was, it, was, yeah. it was me, Kyle, and Tony. We were yes. walking down the street. <laughs> like this, in this exact <laughs> way. <laughs> but yeah. And I, I mentioned like the desert, but like, you're, no, you can't put location on yeah. there. And then Kyle said something about, about it being barren. About it being barren, yeah. yeah. Or, or barely... It, 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 we always said this was barely California. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah exactly. And out of that, like it, the whole pun just started, and it just it sounded when I first started, I was like, "That's so yeah." I, I remember you, yeah. You, someone, one of you, I think it was one of you, you or Kyle. I think Kyle was the one who texted me. He's like, "I think we have a name for it. It's barely, uh, the Barely News Crew." And I, at first, I, I thought about. It. I was like, "This is kind of cheesy." Then I said it myself, and I was like. This is hilarious. Yeah. There was disputes too on copyright issues because we thought someone already had yes, that name. I actually. remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was uh, when we were going through the whole thing. I mean, it was just, again, it was a miracle just coming up with yeah, just yeah, a yeah. name because <laughs> of different ideas that we threw. In, and it I was, threw in the Kyle Lara show, which thankfully we didn't pick that name. No, no, no. Sorry. But, I mean, no, because <laughs> nowadays it's uh, the other, with that, without a doubt, it's the Alexis Soto well, show, you know. <laughs> Now then, um, the acronym, I, I remember you telling me a story, the acronym of the BNC came from mm-hmm. uh, TJ, right? When she saw you guys at the mall or something like that. And uh, and she was like, wow, we were all gathering, yes, right? I remember yes. you telling me something about that. Not, hey. not, we, we, <laughs> yeah, it's a very, uh, it, it, actually, you know, it really blew us all away, and I think to an extent. We were all at Starbucks, the four of, you weren't there, but the four of us. And TJ Ziegler, a friend of ours from high school, came in and, uh, hey, it's the BNC. It's like, in a way, we kept recognized. And even though that was, we, we, we kind of get recognized every now and then, but it still actually feels good. <laughs> yeah. You know? We're almost there. We're all- <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that was the name. 
but in a sense, um, and uh, I don't know if Kyle or Giselle or Nettie want to jump into this, but like, how was it like? I mean, just with so many different ideas bouncing off the walls. I mean, uh, first let's ask, let's ask the girls. Yes. How was it like with all? Yeah. Like, I think the three of us we, were the main yeah, ones. We, that we had, were used to like each yeah. other. How was know, it like joining shit, a sausage but... fest? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, before Nettie even got here today, I was like. Oh my gosh, Nettie, where are you? Like, please help. <laughs> it's like, you don't even want to know what they were talking about. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, no. we have it on film. Yes, so. we do. So you might, you might find out <laughs> in the behind the scenes. Well, you mean like the process, like throughout? Like, or just like being like in the room the and hearing so many ideas going all over the place and you just in being the beginning. there. Yeah, yeah. In the beginning, yeah right? in that summary. Emphasis yeah. okay, on going like all over the place. Yeah. super overwhelming sometimes. Because <laughs> like, I knew how you guys' personalities just like they're gonna clash they're gonna clash sometimes I don't want to be part of it because they, they need to figure it out <laughs> like I was just like because Kyle was kind of like the leader before and like yeah he was because he started it and so I kind of told Kyle just do what you need to do like take the reins on this and like don't don't let anybody else tell you what to do because it's, yeah. your, it's your thing mm-hmm, definitely. but then I don't know what happened oh oh with Alexis you know <laughs> <laughs> I mean because sometimes there would be times where they'd be play fighting and yes. then it would get yes. real yeah. 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 Exactly. no Exactly. We never knew. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone here. You can't tell when I'm being serious. No, no? you're the most sarcastic person well, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. We should talk about that too. That too. These two, the, these two constantly they, just they, they oh like, like, like a married couple. Yes. sometimes. And, <laughs> it's because look, Kyle and I, we share a lot of the same likes. You know, but we share a lot of very different dislikes. Um, our, our likes are the same, but our deals are way different. And we're honestly, it can be an issue where either we agree, we agree like sort of, not really, and then on the other side of the spectrum. And it was, um, I remember those days were very, uh, they were very waning on all of us. I know because we had a lot of stress and a lot of different things to go through. And I mean, just to show off how. You know, the, pro- the evolution of the Really News crew, when we started doing the videos, we were a different genre. One week we were TMZ, the next week we were the Food Network, then we were C-SPAN, <laughs> then the History Channel, then we were um, AMC Movies, and then, you know, we went from different kinds of videos. I mean, we have videos on JFK. We have videos on Obamacare. Yeah, yeah. We have videos on Toy Story, yeah. um, on all the American Music Awards, Emmys, we were even Gold Derby for a minute. Mm. We have all these different things. We even were Saturday Night Live for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, it was just like, looking back on it, it kind of is hard that I actually thought this was good. Um, I don't, I can only imagine what the rest of you might have been thinking. (laughs) Um, But, I mean, you know, it's very difficult to work with friends. Yeah, because the the, the business and friendship side. But, see, what I wanted to add on to that, despite the stress and despite how much, you know, we would bicker or argue, we, we could always... Go to a movie together and have a yeah. good time. Like we went to go watch Kick Ass too, for example. Oh my like, god! Or just like we could always agree on that one thing that we love. Mm-hmm. We love movies and we love film and we love entertainment enough to the point that we're sitting on this table yes. right now to talk about it's it. It's the things that we love yes. that kept pulling us together. Course, yes. Otherwise, it would have fallen apart. Like mm-hmm. seriously. Yes. Oh god. Um, <laughs> I mean, as you can tell, it's been a, a long two years to get to where we are today, um, but. It's just that way. We started from the bottom, now we're here. Oh my god. I mean, do you remember the times we were like, you know, halfway there? We were doing yeah. local <laughs> interviews at one point. Remember, Kyle? We were doing local interviews. We had some events. And, oh, oh duh, my duh, god. Duh. No. No, that's not. <laughs> no. We were you know local what? news. But, you know, we were at a point sometime in 2014 where the majority of you guys were <laughs> AWOL. Uh, and it was just Kyle and myself, and then Julio was there, obviously. Oh, by the way, we want to take this time to recognize Julio yes. because Julio Dominguez, who you Julio. never see in front of the camera, is even to this day responsible for you know, all of the every, audio you know, advances. You know what? Come here. You deserve Come on. Come on. Get in the shot. Come on. You know, he's not. This is Julio. This is Julio. He's a genius yeah. behind the camera. Yes. He's yes. yes. listening. Look at, look at that. Look at, look at them <laughs> collarbones. Ooh, look at them collarbones. <laughs> the, the only new cast member that has stayed with the BNC yes. since the day he was recruited. And Definitely. you know, it, I just want to take this time. We never even thought of you. You came to us. You know? I remember. 
I remember it was, uh, I think, uh, you told me exactly, yeah. I didn't even take it personally because I have a lot of respect for you, but he said um, when he, when I left, yeah. you guys needed someone to take care of the audio, audio work, to take care of all the behind the scenes, and I remember, I think, I don't know if this is your exact words, but he said, I can do anything Tony can do, yeah. and the way I, I heard that, I was like, Yes, they need they need someone like that. They need they need, and I thought no one better, no better candidate than you. Honestly, thank you. Honestly, I'm still surprised you're still with us. Yeah, <laughs> and thing. it's so hot in here. That yeah, is, <laughs> we're awesome. <laughs> the only question I have to ask Julio is this: What the fuck are you still doing? <laughs> he loves Wait, he loves awesome. food. We paid him food. He loves food. Yeah, we paid him. We so pay, much we should food. Pay, like I said, we should pay him in protein. But <laughs> but I mean, just to go on. <laughs> through the uh, okay I think this is a good time to pause right now we'll be right back with part two of our conversation it's getting good guys all right we're back everyone and let's uh, get into the nitty-gritty of this what the barely news crew went through its evolution there was a point last year where I mean most of you guys were a wall even the other people who were with us and you know you and I we were uh, having a lot of uh, different ideas as to how to continue it with just you me and Julio and uh, I think one of the most defining videos we've had would be the Star Wars Day video, Kyle, that you and I did together. That one, for my taste, really set the standard for what the Barely News crew is it, today. It more or less changed the way mm -hmm. we, we we did things. I mean, because back then we had uh, we discussed it. We had it the round table, mm -hmm. you know. And so the way that it changed into a format where just two people sit down and discuss movies, you know, that was the formula. From then on out, and mm -hmm. since then, it has become more of a of a of an oiled machine. Mm -hmm. In a way, you know. What do you mean? And um, I mean, yeah, there there's still a few kinks and all that stuff. It's a bit kinky. Okay. But uh, of course, <laughs> of course you do. So but uh, <laughs> overall, it is now a, a, a produced a, mm -hmm. a scenario with you and and Julio running it and all that stuff, and it's just. And it's just become something that was just uh, meant for friends to discuss yeah. their passions and something to, you know, blossom like a flower, you know. Yeah, it certainly did uh, help when we finally decided what we wanted to do. And, you know, we, we definitely had our share of experiments, as we've established. And by the time we got to the point where this is what we want to talk about, I remember when we, I'm not sure Julio or Kyle when we came up with this, but it, it took a while to get there. I know that we, we did some preparation, but 2015 has, without a doubt, as far as what the channel is today, been the best in terms of consistency, in terms of getting product and videos out there. It's been, and it has been a rebranding. Nettie helped us with a new logo. We had a new catchphrase. What was it? The place for all things movie news and reviews, guys. Um, and you know, I know now it's really much more, I guess, it's much more grounded in the sense that we know what we are and we enjoy doing what we're doing. And uh, I think I can say this as honestly as I can, even though really to the, it's kind of the point where it's just me now. You guys are there with me every day. <laughs> I, I mean, no, I mean, there, there's just no blocking. There's been so much drama. There's been a lot of yelling and a lot of good times that you just can't block it out. So every time I get in front of the camera and um, I need moral support, I always look to Julio, but really I'm looking for you guys. I know I, you're, you're there with me for the most part. And um, that's how I push myself forward and I strive for this thing to be the best thing possible. So now, we're now approaching the end of our conversation and I now want to take it to all of you guys because you know, we of course have our own different perception of how things went. And now, I want to ask you guys as a general question, anybody can jump in first. Why does something like the Berlin News crew matter? Why, should, why is it important? I don't want to go first again. <laughs> Someone anybody? Go. Someone go. Cow. Um, Cow. Cow? <laughs> <laughs> something like the BNC should matter because we, uh, I think movies is a very um, derivative art form. I think that uh, I think that it is not well. I mean, a lot of people know like Picasso and all that shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you talking about culture? <laughs> exactly. Culture and all that stuff. Man. But, but movies aren't. <laughs> okay. <let's start. laughs> movies aren't really taken as seriously as you know as as we would like it to. Mm -hmm. You know, because movies, you know, it, it just it's just amazing just seeing a group of people, utter strangers, 
sit down in a in a in a large room and watch something, and they're all emotionally and uh, and connect. They're they're wired to the movie, and they all laugh together, and they all you know. It's just some amazing entity that everybody could be connected. It's like world peace or some shit, yeah. <laughs> or some shit, yeah. You know, and just the way that it's put together, and, and so movies. I think is ever since the '30s, the golden era of movies. I think it is really important for humans, us humans, modern day humans, you know, on why it, the importance of movies is so striking and so endearing. I mean, movies go on forever, you know, it's like a good book, you know, mm -hmm. it'll last forever, generations, you know. Yeah, I mean, honestly, movies are the ultimate reflection so as to what we are. Yeah? He hasn't used the word nostalgia or <laughs> This whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, I mean, we've definitely through these past two years have matured. Yes, and we have a lot of different things. I mean, uh, I don't know. Well, except for me. Um, that, why is it something like the Berlin Crew important? Well, I mean, because we're all, you know, it brought us together. Mm -hmm. We're all talking about something that we're very passionate about. It's hard for people our age, especially, to show passion for something. Yeah. Like I know a lot of people that are, um, I know a lot of people that are, you know, they're working and they're that's all they're focusing on work mm -hmm. and school. And we have something that we're passionate about, and that we, aside from, you know, work and school, we can get together and do this mm -hmm. and be passionate about it together and have fun with it. Yeah, you know? definitely. I definitely agree. Yes. Nettie? It's kind of like what Giselle said. Mm -hmm. So, for me, it's when I, when I did do it like back then, it was really, it was kind of like a relief. Like, I'm stressed out with school and my family and like all these like personal things. But when it comes to like B and C, this is something I can, I can put myself into. I can talk about something with a bunch of people that we, that we all like, you know. Mm -hmm. Or even if it's different opinions, it's still good to talk to people. I love talking like long conversations about things that can go on forever and it'll start one one like thing and it'll end up like way over here yeah, yeah. No. And i love it and so i think this is really good that we can keep and, and it makes us closer like like you said like yeah you can you can keep us here by having b and c and you're gonna keep us here by having oh yeah i will i will and so oh, yeah it's, and, it's, and it's something that'll last forever because it's caught on video <laughs> it is tony uh okay I'm gonna start by the word that he meant to say, kosher. <laughs> and like, I feel like it, kosher, kosher, kosher. kosher salt. <laughs> no, I feel like um, the culture that of, of film and cinema is and it's really it's really super striking. And I, I, I love the way you put it. And um, we strangers sitting in a room. And more than that, it, it it lets us. That's how we learned, honestly. From when we were kids, we learned from watching people in movies, and we learned how to behave in certain situations. So in a, in a sense, it's really these directors and and, um, and actors are really just documenting our lives through a, a specific art form. And what a beautiful art form it really is. And it's it's just uh, I, I see no different from just looking in the mirror and how we should always strive to be like that protagonist. How we should always try to try and be like that Woody or like you know yeah. Um, of course I went for that. <laughs> Woody or Buzz, but um, it's. For me, it sets a certain standard for natural human behavior, and it's the way we should always be. And it's 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 just doing right, having having the will and the courage and the integrity to care for one another and to do the right thing, which is I I guess in the long term run, or at least for me, is what the point of a movie is. Is is you want to affect someone, you want to really help someone in in a way, not that they need help. I'm just saying that. There's there's a lot of people out there who could use a good example, and a movie really sets that. Um, that's that's honestly why. And the way we come together to talk about that is to really expose those little things. I mean, to really expose why this movie was so good. Mm -hmm. Could it be the dialogue? Could it be this character? Could it be this actor? There's many things, and there are many many aspects that go into the movie. And if they're done just right, I'm pretty sure it's something that everybody in this room and everybody in the world could really appreciate and grow from. I agree 100. Mm -hmm. percent I have I have a saying that goes like this: is that r movies explain reality better than reality itself does? Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. With that. I, I, I definitely agree with that. As far as for why something like the Berlin News Crew matters to me anyway is like when we did this, and I'm not sure if it was just me, but I noticed a lot of other people perked up here where we live in in the Imperial Valley, and they did their own projects 
they're all side projects. I know that friends of ours who have worked alongside us in the real industry, they've they've done their own videos. And I think it's important for something like this to exist because I think above a lot of other things, the real news crew sparked new passions within ourselves that we hadn't thought were possible. I, I've said, as for me, the passion of me keeping this thing alive, of me of movies and everything, because of the Barely News Crew, I owe it all to that. I know that Giselle, you've even been inspired to do all kinds of videos because of this. That I'm, yeah. I'm sure you weren't even thinking of before the Barely never. News Crew. <laughs> I would have never so, done anything like that. I mean, this really, in a lot of ways, of Kyle, this led to the thing with Red Spotlight, Julia, I mean, not Julia, sorry, Tony! Uh, so you had... <laughs> I mean, you're doing your own thing in Nashville, you're recording music, your passion. Yeah. Nettie, you're majoring in film, which is honestly, Kyle and I are a bit jealous of you because we would love to have that. Um, you've been to what? Pixar now? You've been to Universal Studios and, and Walt Disney? And yeah, Disney yeah, too. yeah, I see. That would be amazing. So I think that really is, in essence, I mean, the fact that it inspires not only ourselves, but the people who watch us to do things and reintroduce themselves to all these different things. So before we close down, I want to ask everyone, what is your favorite, if you can pick one, your favorite memory of working with BNC? Your favorite story? Hilarious, uh, as it were, I'm sure it is. But uh, can anyone say as to what was your favorite part or your favorite one thing that happened while you were working here? Particularly that summer, I would say. Okay. Uh, for me, I think it was, I don't know if this is a recovery film. But um, whenever we, um, not when we did, uh, when we started really putting more stuff together as far as the Belly News Troop, I mean, we were still an octopus of, <laughs> yeah. of, of yeah. media, you know, transmitting. But, but still, um, one of my favorite things was when I introduced the idea that we should start having some performances or something like mm. that. Or even just enriching people with, um, I, I always wanted to put my input as far as music because that was, oh, of course, like you said, it's my passion. When I did that performance in Giselle's living room, like it was such a, it was like it was such a like tiny thing. You realize we're it's all a laughing, funny little right? joke. Whether laughing <laughs> is because when I was asked, I was like, well, I have like, I, I don't know why laughing because it, I was asked how much material I could perform. I said I have up to twenty seven minutes of material, and the they, input. I guess they thought that they were like, oh, he's about to do a twenty seven minute performance. I just ran with it. But actually, I just wanted I just wanted to show you guys like a, a little bit here and there. And it was very and elaborate. I, you had it the thing going is, all the way out there. And I had I had a whole thing like planned out because it was a performance that I had already done, mm -hmm. or I was I had already planned on doing, but I just didn't you know ever get the chance to do it. So I always had that vision of okay, this is what I need to do with this, and I, I thought it was an opportunity. But then when I sat down and I got to the gist of it and the basics, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna have it's a little thing for you guys, have you guys sit down. And yeah, cameras were rolling, but that wasn't for the camera. That wasn't really for the camera, that was for us. And I remember just, I was playing the piano yeah. um, in the living room and I, I just did a little thing, but, and you guys were you guys were sitting down. I, I was supposed to look at the camera, but really ultimately I was looking at your reactions because I want to show you that even though I do do my own thing and I am living, you know, 2,000 miles away, you guys are always there. Yeah. And like, that's the reason why I want to do that and be successful in that sense is because if one makes it, we all make we it. All make and it. I do believe that we have something here. We've always had something yeah. here. We could definitely do something great with this and get to the, get to people's living rooms. I, I feel like we have that ability. And I mean, I don't know, that's probably one of my favorite memories because it made me, it gave me that realization that we, we do, we can do something like, with just this, and it's just because of a great friendship based on movies. We can we can really make something out of this. Uh, that was probably my favorite memory. Yeah, that alleged 27 minute yes. performance will uh, forever <laughs> live in infamy. He Nettie? needs to start going last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, since you're next, Nettie. What was yours? I don't know, I wasn't really here. I feel so bad that I wasn't really here, but Oh, it's kind of hard. I like being here, so those are my But you know, moments. you were always here in spirit. And I remember I would always be the one, Eddie. I don't care if I have to get through on through my phone or through FaceTime or through Skype so or on an Skype. iPad. He had so, so many, many Skype like, moments. He had his phone and tablet and other people's <laughs> tablets trying to connect to her on three remember. different devices. I don't know how many pictures we took with Nettie in the tablet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she was always there. No, okay, so, but when I was actually 
actually here. Those those were good moments. Yes, <laughs> actually yes, here. Always. And being here now is a good <laughs> moment. But another thing that I did really like, even though I haven't gotten started yet, but hey, we're in, we're in summer. I have time ish, sort of. <laughs> I, I will have time after I get rid of all this fun stuff. <laughs> I wanted I want to do B and C more as yes. well. With just that, like yes. I really really want to because I have so much stuff planned for like my little thing. And I guess that right now it's so. a good time to announce it. You know, B and C more oh. is a future project <laughs> for the Belly News crew that will be overseen by. Nereida, Neri, Neri Valdez, and Giselle. The girls of the BNC are going off on their own, and they're going to create something really, uh, I would say, unique, but above all, authentic with BNC more. And uh, that logo you made, by the way, I know you haven't seen it, but it is hysterical. Um, Giselle, favorite memories? I have to say the Halloween episode. Oh my because, God. I mean, Halloween's my favorite holiday, and to spend it, well, it wasn't the exact day, but it was a few days before mm -hmm. and to spend it with like the most incredible fun people was awesome like, I mean Kyle's I mean, Joker I mean that sketch yeah. was awesome I had so much fun doing that I, don't, I, I know mean, you did of course Kyle <laughs> like, like, you, know, <laughs> you came here in full makeup and everything and you yeah. just like and you hosted the entire show it's not online the whole show that one portion is, but you did the whole show in that Joker costume, and I give you props for that. Let's I mean, not forget Josh's performance. Yes, love <laughs> by Josh. Catch it on the Berlin News Group. <laughs> yes, I mean, yeah, a lot of Kyle. Honest to God, my favorite moments are not even on camera, which are which are uh, mm -hmm. shameful. I love setup. Oh. Every time that we set up for the BNC, every time we get get all the kinks out you know uh, all that reckon it because that's when we were riffing on each other the most mm -hmm. that's when we we're making the most jokes that's when we we're not just we're business partners but friends true friends first and foremost friends and just having that friendship like us making fun of you yeah. and, and all that stuff for you know for a a sitting on camera for <laughs> yeah. sitting on the on the job or yeah. you know you and cow jokes and all that stuff <laughs> you and the most obscure you know things <laughs> ever and you know and you with you know and it's just everything around it setup was always my favorite part of the of the experience and that's and determining on on setup which was the was the way that it would the rest of the show was gonna go because if 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 we all had a shitty mood during setup then it would reflect in the in the program and there, there were times when that happened you know that's why i wanted to do the bnc more i wanted yeah. to have videos like we filmed the setup i filmed a, quite a bit of the setup actually yes. today so that's gonna go up on bnc more hopefully <laughs> yeah i, I want to i want to vlog us our crazy moments and put it on the bnc more that's why i wanted that's mm -hmm. what, what I really wanted it for. It's raw, unedited, crazy, you know, the terrible puns. <laughs> oh, a lot of them. A lot of terrible puns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, if I were to pick a favorite part about this, it's hard because I put it all together. I loved, well, I wouldn't say love, but it was a love-hate thing throughout the entire process. Josh's love? Yes. <laughs> but I think well, one of the, some of the most satisfactory moments, I'd say, is when we would finish a show. Right when we would finish a show, and I'd say to myself, you did it. You got this done. The fact that it got done, a lot of these things, really made me happy. And it really got me so pumped up for what we would do afterward. Because after we would have dinner, we would go out to movies, we would do all these kind of different things and be real friends. I mean, and you, I think you can see the magic that we had together as friends on camera. Cute for, Hannah Montana. Oh my God. For <laughs> I mean, I think worse. after this show, we're all going to like take our clothes off. Yeah. And <laughs> I want a water balloon on my face right now. I know. <laughs> okay. So make it quick. <laughs> yes, yes. Now we're, uh, we're now down to the wire here. Last question for all of you. What does BNC, in a matter of a couple of words or in a long paragraph, whichever you prefer, what does the BNC I mean to you? Uh, he goes last. I, I go last because. Uh, no. No. Kyle. 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 <laughs> Two words artistic friendships. <laughs> I'm just going to say a bunch of words because I can't really put them in a sentence like passion. 
friendship, uh, yeah, loyalty, um, fun, uh, long lasting. Yes. Mm-hmm. Heat. <laughs> <laughs> Bickering. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that. But also laughing. Yes. Puns. <laughs> Friendship. And chips. And yeah. And chips. And Alexis <laughs> eating food. Yes. <laughs> Above all, anything else? Tell me. Other people's food. Um, I mean, it's the reason I'm gonna come back home every single time. I mean, more than more than like the more than the graduation or other things like family things that I have to do. I always one of the first things I always do is I hit this man up. And I let them know if there's anything going on with the BNC because I always want to partake in this because this is honestly, it's one of the most tense, like one of the biggest tense relievers. And not only that, I get to really just have very genuine conversations with some very genuine people and couldn't ask for anything more than that. I mean, I couldn't agree more. I'd say for me, what the Berlin News Crew means to me is obviously the culmination of all of our passions put together and uh, really the, the memories that we've had. And I know that I, I love Barely News Crew and I do my best to push it forward, but I'd say that really I consider the Barely News Crew, I love the Barely News Crew because I think it's the byproduct of the friendship that we had for each other, the love that we have for each other. And I dedicate that friendship by keeping the Barely News the BNC, <laughs> the Barely News Crew, I keep it going. Because I want to honor the legacy that was our friendship. The Berlin News Crew is us, in a matter of speaking. And, I mean, I've said this to you guys many times, and I've said this on camera. That summer was the absolute best of my entire life. The fact that I had actual friends that I would look forward to seeing more than anything else that day. That summer will always be here. All of you will be here around me for better and for worse i love you guys more than anything you could possibly even know and i honestly do not know what i would be doing if this thing never even happened so with that i want to close the show um by going around and any last goodbyes for today any last thanks for putting up with us If you yes. sat through this whole video, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, you're a trooper because we're... <laughs> Subscribe, click, a, leave a little comment or something like that. And if you want to hear um, terrible puns, yes. um, bickering, <laughs> and uh, a and bunch some, of crazy... Some innuendos. <laughs> inappropriate, <laughs> go check out BMC more. Yes, Nettie. I forgot to say. Uh, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> oh my god, yes. So, I do want to... Oh, yeah. re- <laughs> <laughs> what? She actually, oh, no, she was doing it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. It's been a long run. <laughs> but thank you for watching. And it's only going to get better from here. So please keep watching. And, oh, I'm sorry. And, and then look out for being and Seymour. Yes. Be and also Red Spotlight Entertainment because I also want to this time to we're all going to reconvene for an additional follow up to this we're going to actually go into a very in-depth analysis as to why we love movies so please catch Red Spotlight Entertainment hosted by our very good friend Kyle and that's going to be just as good as this one so please Where we will continue to sweat our asses yeah. yes for and you guys <laughs> Kyle Kyle <laughs> <laughs> anything else Kyle um last closing thought I mean I we, we were all speaking about friendships and all that stuff, but the last thing I like to say is that I did not gain friends. I gained siblings. Wow, oh my god. Now you're gonna make us Seriously? Smile. Seriously? Oh no, you have to one up us with that. I mean one up. <laughs> <laughs> no anyway guys, really I <laughs> can't thank you enough for being yeah. here and uh, I, I can't wait to have you back. So as for the Billy News crew I'm Alexis Soto, your host as always, and remember, you're always welcome to the place for all things movie news and reviews. Bye-bye. Yeah, for now. Peace.